hear the sound folks. Probably don't care. <laughs> We love Kerry, don't we? <laughs> Kerry! Give it a look, Kerry! Yay! <laughs> See me, folks, I'm too soft on the girls. Whenever something happens, they'll go, Oh, Jag, Jag, please, could you... Look, I've, left, I've done this and oh, could you go and sort it? So I always have to go and sort whatever the... whatever their mistake is. But, you know, I'm a soft touch, really, mate. Right, let's see what they are. Oh, come on, girls. Right, folks, now, I've got some, uh, some new cream for my hand. Now it's getting, it's, I've had cream before it, I've got all this, oh, this stuff the doctor gave me, I've got a few creams to try, so none of them seem to be working very well. So Rosie found this on, uh, I think it was on Facebook, it was going on about it, so she ordered it. It's only £3, Child's Farm Moisturiser, uh, contains grapefruit and organic tea tree. But it's got lots of sort of stuff on it, all about it. It's meant to be really, really good, and it's for eczema and uh, psoriasis and all sorts of, sensitive skin basically so we're going to try that put it on already and as you can see <coughs> it's made it go purple right but it's just i've got this bit on my hand here it started off when i put my wedding ring on folks that like started it the wedding ring so that's why i don't wear one because that sort of started off and look at that bit there man it's like a bite look at it and then uh, of course this bit here and that's the only place i have it i don't have it anywhere else it's the weirdest thing ever man it's very annoying as well because it's right in my hand you know so we're going to try this. This is the this is the last chance I think before I have to go to the doctor and maybe ask for some like um, light treatment. I think they they give you sun lamp treatment to, to try and cure it. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on this and see how it works. What happens? It seems to be when you put a cream on and you cream on, it seems to work for a couple of days and it's great and it's, it goes back to normal. And then the skin seems to fight back. It's, it's like it's got its own. Well, obviously it does have its own defense immune system and it's going. I'm not having this and it fights back. And before you know it, you're back to square one. This is the last chance for the over 98% naturally derived ingredients. There we go. So we're going to just keep using that now. There it is. If anybody else out there has psoriasis or eczema, um, whatever, there we go. Remember, bro, bro suffered from eczema when he was young. He had it on the back of his legs and oh, it, was, it was awful, but he's got through it now. But um, so there we go. It's funny, all, my, all the diseases I have seem to end in IS. We've got colitis psoriasis, spondylitis, that's my, my back, it all seems to end with is, is, that's a weird thing isn't it? So there we go, that's, that's my diseases, um, if anybody else has any disease, leave it in the comments. Talking of the comments, I must say hello to Deborah Wood, hi Debbie, um, you've been commenting quite a lot recently so thank you very much for your input, everybody else who's commenting, thank you very much, really do appreciate it, I love reading all the comments, it's great and it's, um, we're getting lots more views now as well folks, which is great. So thank you everybody who's watching. Remember now, subscribe, tell everybody about Jag Lives. It's, it's a great little community we've got here. It's really, really nice to know that everybody's on my side and supporting. It's just fantastic, folks. So thank you very much. Thank you. Anyway, we'll see you sooner than you think. Right, folks, this is excellent. Snowboard racing. This is the women. Fantastic stuff. Oh, somebody's away. Somebody's fallen. Whoa. It's so exciting, man. This is the best best thing on the Winter Olympics I've seen so far. This snowboard cross, I think they call it. Or there's loads of action and excitement. People falling. This is brilliant. And oh, look at the speed of them, man. It's amazing. Whoa. This is, this is the best event ever, this one. The snowboarding, man. Love it. Box, folks. This box. Measures almost half a meter square. It's quite a big box. You can fit a hell of a lot in it. Try picking up and you will see what I mean. Blink an egg, what on earth have you got in there? A body, funny you should mention that because our strap line is we only want you for your body. Maybe, just maybe, we have murdered a painful supplier, a moaning stockist or another useless member of staff and chopped them up, sticking their component parts inside and sending them across land and sea, of course. 
we haven't. It is merely a happy coincidence. No one knows where our ex director of sales happens to be. What a strange thing. In the back of that box, folks. Very unusual. Right, folks, we're going home. We're going home. Yes, we are. Here we go. This is my journey home, folks. It takes about, I think it's six minutes. It should take about six minutes if I'm uh, driving normally and conditions are good. Oh, look at that. See, that car was speeding. Oh, no disaster. I knew that was going to happen, oh, for goodness sake. God's sake, man. Folks, got a new view now. Here we go. Right, we're off again then. Here we go, this is it. As I was saying, anyway, this is my journey, my commute. Home we go. The time is 22.29. Just finished work. We are cruising at roughly 25 miles an hour. This is Balloony Drive. Quite a long one. It might actually be... Right, now come on to... So it's polished. This is the um, the busy part. This is where the traffic lights are. Sainsbury's just down there. They've got KFC over there. So during the day, it's quite a busy bit right here with the lights. It used to be a roundabout here. Clay Ponds roundabout. Um, but there was quite a few accidents here, I must admit. So what they did was they had a massive alteration and changed it all to this, this light system, which works quite well, I must admit. Every now and again, the lights fail. But it hasn't happened for a while, actually, I must admit. So um, it's, it's not too bad to get through here. Some people don't like it, they hate it, but it's all right. We're focus, here we go. Right, come around here, and we are now on to Balkillo Road. Here we go, Balkillo Road. This road is full of um, bungalows, residential bungalows, all the way along here. Quite a nice part of uh, Rossi Fiddle. It's got the main, this is the main commuter road, this one here, Balkillo Road. So it's um, it's quite a noisy road for the residents, I would imagine, here at uh, between 7 and 9, it must be pretty bad. But uh, I'm okay, so I'm going to start work till 11 o'clock, so I'm alright. I just leave the house and drive along, and it's, it's, um, there's never any, any hassle or any jams or yeah, nothing, nothing like that, so I'm quite lucky just drive there. Oh, shit, I've just got this petrol. I'm running very low on petrol, man. Seafield Road, where we used to stay. We're now turning right onto Fort Hill Road. Fort Hill, that used to be a fort on a hill a long, long time ago. They did find some sort of remains, but um, it's further, further along. There was a, a little castle or something up here, so it's called Fort Hill Road. And this is quite a, a nice residential little bit here, full of nice old houses. Here we have Fort Hill Park, uh, beside the school, of Fort School. I went there for a year, primary seven. We're coming to Jagged Old Stomping Ground now, where when I was younger we used to see for God, we used to cycle up this way and explore the area yeah, when we were younger. So we just come up to Nursery Road now, right? Yep, so we turn left here. Now, will I get a space in the horse shoe or not? I don't think so. It's always full at this time, so I need to park it on the road. So we'll have a little look to see if there's any space. Oh, is it? Oh, no, I thought there was. Oh, there's a space, there's a space. We'll grab that one. It's always better. A rammy, a bit of a rammy to get. There's space here. So that means you don't have to park your car on the road. So there we are. I'm home. I have a rebate. Excellent.